man. Okay, what what else we got? We got all right. So this is this actually is part of the YSL case. So deputy arrested for smuggling contraband and defendant in the YSL trial. So this is a female. How do you, how, how, bro, how they be getting caught, bro? Man, let, let's let's go ahead and read. You this. You work so, there every day. You don't know. How so to do and this it? is a Fulton County deputy. So it was a female. Obviously, they got into her head, but let's go ahead and read it. So according to 11 Alive report published on Friday, June 2nd, former Fulton County Sheriff Deputy Akiba Stanley was arrested and booked on several charges, including reckless co uh, conduct, hindering uh, apprehen apprehen uh, apprehension of uh, or, or punishment of criminal. She's accused of smuggling contraband to uh, Christian Eppinger. Eppinger? I don't know who that is. A defendant in the YSL racketeering trial with the help of one of his family members. Additionally, Stanley is being accused of having an inappropriate relationship with Eppinger. So pretty much he was smashing, t taking that down and kind of telling her, hey, you know, you do this. You're going to need, need you bread. to put this Motorola in your butthole. And yeah, and bring it in. <laughs> she probably farted, fell out. <laughs> I've never done this before. Why, why, why are you <laughs> calling me? I ain't been working. <laughs> <laughs> she called her. He probably, she probably, uh, he probably called her. Yeah. When <laughs> she was walking into work, yeah, da, 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 booty hoes start ringing. <laughs> what is that? Somebody's butt? All right, all right. <laughs> Strip search. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, says uh, the sheriff's uh, office also confirmed in a statement that Stanley visited Ebinger's cell and communicated with him on an illegal phone. Messages between mm -hmm. the two were later discovered on Instagram, according to the arrest warrant. Okay. So the fact that this happened, remember there was another dude who got in trouble. Wasn't it his lawyer that tried to bring in drugs? This, like, like right in the middle of court? Yeah, bro. He tried to, he tried to do a little handoff. It's just like, you understand this is one of the biggest, like, first off, Atlanta don't even like YSL. They do a lot of, you know, gang activity. They hate them. They want them off the street. When you when black people that are in, like, um, in government or in good places and they got to see these little uh, rats running around doing, like, bad stuff, and you already know, man. The white people up in there, they be clowning like, look at you know. Why wouldn't you have like your <laughs> cellmate or like someone else be the one to get it? Like, if, if you're a high profile person, I don't know. Why would you be the one like, yeah, let me get the coke from a door directly? Like, exactly, bro. They're stupid, <laughs> but a lot of the black old people they really want to get them off the streets. They making like black people look bad in general in Atlanta, so they they want them. But like, they got blood. Like, they want blood from them, bro. Like, they want YSL gone. They don't, as soon as they heard about um, his little wonderland, or he had like 100 acres, they were like, nah, dog. And he was going to start doing his own little parties out there. He was like, mm, ain't no coonery like, over here. Yeah, they're like, nah, bro, get, get that coonery out of here. It's Tom Coonery. They want it, they, bro, the older black people, they do not want that. They're like, you the, ain't, you ain't Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah. nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't Rick Ross, bro. Nah, you know so, that level yet? Yeah, they were gonna call it like Slap Park or something. I can't remember the name. Slime Just, Park. Slime. I don't know. Like slime, probably, probably some, some slime. It, it, was, it was some, and they were like, "Nah, we're, we're not going for that." And so, with all this, it's like you know they're gonna be watching you guys like hawks after the first handoff failed. So you're gonna get this deputy to go. They're watching everybody, and then they're that, still. That's trying what I'm to saying. Do, Why would you like, not have it be your cell? <laughs> Why would you not have it be your cellmate or something like? Bro, they got cam yeah exactly, but they got cameras. That's what I don't understand. You're in the courtroom. There's cameras watching you. They're watching everybody like a hawk. If they're like, yo, if, the, if his lawyer is going to bring something in, yo, watch everybody. The judge even watching himself. Or like, hey, your little your little cousin or something. Bro, I don't know. You can't even, <clears throat> dog. You can't even. It's got to be somebody that's literally away from you. Uh, yeah, they I, I would have had respect. like the white homie over there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah get him. <laughs> yo, she going to bring a ton of crack. All you, <laughs> all you got to do is get it from her. <laughs> you can say the N word. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's all it took. So, all right, let's see it. Um, Here's a, the. The X-Lax to, to poop the crack out because you know you got to take it so you can poop it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you better hope it don't explode in your stomach. You, oh, you're going to be high for You're going to be high. It'll be good. It'll feel good. Like, oh, yeah. You're going to be high. <laughs> you start shaking. High for hours. Yeah, yeah then you'll probably die, though. Well, no, nah, you, you'll like, die. The, the, the mules? It, yeah. Bro, have you ever seen that? Nah. On the airplane smuggling stuff into the country? Yeah, yeah. And the people be like, I don't girl. feel good. <laughs> and, then, and then and then they x ray it, maybe like the the, the bag of fentanyl <laughs> split open. <laughs> and they be like, You actually got three minutes to live. And the people be like crying. They be like, Get it out of me. Get it it's out. It's too late, dog. Well, it's like, Dang. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They'll be going through customs and they'll get caught. And they'll be like, I don't <laughs> feel good. And they'll be like, they gave me five thousand dollars for each like uh, ounce of fentanyl bro, I put yeah, in my butt. pills, bro. Bro, yeah. <laughs> Little did you know, your stomach acids are strong as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that shit can split you know, concrete, right, dude, bro. Shit. It can split concrete, bro. Yeah, bro. Have you ever puked on concrete no. and, and leave it there and the concrete be split? No, no, bro. Acid, bro. Acid be it be, it be going crazy. Be like Especially when you eat some spicy food. Ooh, some of that curry. 
Yeah, as you get older, dog, acid reflex and all that stuff, it, it becomes I never had problems. Bro, but. me and red sauce, man. That red goo, the red goo. <laughs> boy, it be it's burning. <laughs> boy, that tomato, <laughs> that tomato, whatever. That, I don't know what that, yeah. that acid uh. is. It be, it be, ooh. All right, well, pretty much says uh, her reckless action endangered safety of citizens, staff, employers, uh, employees of the Fulton County uh, Courthouse and put uh, other inmates in jeopardy, uh, said Fulton County Sheriff Patrick uh, Patrick Pat uh, Labatt in the statement on Friday. To violate uh, your sworn oath in such a brazen way that directly puts uh, the life and safety of others at risk is unquestion- uh, unconscionable. It's, I, I wonder why they say like she's putting other people's lives at risk when she just tried to, she had a phone and probably in her butt. Cause man, they, uh, people people kill themselves if they see someone else. Uh, you got a phone? Oh, kill myself. <laughs> I'm such a hater. I'm gonna kill I'm myself. Ah, <laughs> this phone made me. This phone made my son kill himself. He was smoking weed in there. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm mad. I'm angry. I I don't know what that would hurt right, the so other inmates. I've said I said it before, and I'll say it again. We are all responsible for our actions. He continued. If you break the law, you will be held accountable. The actions of this one individual are certainly not a uh, reflection of the men and women of the Fulton County Sheriff uh, Office who show up to work each and every day and conduct uh, their duties in professionalism, honor, and integrity. Okay, so stop lying. Bro, everybody, everybody, every, in there everybody, doing everybody, some. everybody doing some. Everybody trying to get money. She's not like the. She looked like straight up. She looked like a nigga. I ain't even gonna lie. To you. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes down to that. Somebody was willing to give her a pipe. She took it. It is what it is. Now your privates are here. Five G's. Yeah, bro. Yeah, she <laughs> probably got some money. A Kiba Stanley. Yo, she ruined her life. Nah, her life ain't ruined. She just nah, she is. just can't be a correctional officer anymore. Probably. Yeah. Well, then she, yeah, she's gonna have to work a shitty job. Best Buy. Yeah, probably get it. I'll buy an Apple but, Apple product from her. Yo, you, you, <laughs> you're buying it. Bro, she looks like Thug. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was Thug? <laughs> so you <laughs> broke into the jail? <laughs> so, so that's what she looks like with her. Oh, man. I, I did not want to play that. Okay. What the? <laughs> uh, and then there goes Thug right there. Yeah. So, you, got the same so you're breaking into the jail? Yeah. You bro- <laughs> <laughs> oh, 